My name is Lorraine and I host two Ukrainian sisters called Yula and Yana. We spoke online a couple of times. Their decision to leave Ukraine was not easy. Uh, Yana is married, her husband's fighting, so it, it wasn't straightforward. Their mother stays in Ukraine still, so it took some time for them to make the decision, and that was a process I had to be patient with, which uh, you know is important to bear in mind, I think. They came in a truck with other Ukrainians and a cat, uh, which and this included children. People uh, were picked up in Poland, I believe, um, and other sort of points in Europe, and then came and were dropped off at different points in England. And that whole process took three days. The, the van was driven by a couple of British people from Wiltshire um, who've remained friends and we've stayed in touch. They visited my house with Eula and Jana there. And that was a very um, important and emotional journey for Eula and Jana. So yeah, we arrived home about 11.30 in the evening. Um, Yula and Yana were, uh, you know, understandably apprehensive, a little bit sort of shy, and we just, you know, had a cup of tea and then spoke briefly, and they went to bed, and and then we, you know, it took it took a fair time, I would say, for us to get to know each other. So yeah, that that process may may have changed now. It may be more straightforward. It may not be. I think it depends where people are coming from and what their experiences have been, you know, before leaving. We enjoy eating together and, you know, it's, I think all options are fine, but I think it's, it enables you to, to build a much more supportive relationship if you're willing and able to share meals on that basis. And sometimes they cook, usually I cook, um, sometimes they get their own meals and I might get something different but usually because I've got I've got the time and I love cooking I'm very happy to cook for both of them and Jana has a business which she runs online that's you know based in Ukraine um, so she works off the dining table so that was one of this the kind of adjustments if you like I'd been used to having that space which is you know immediately adjacent to the kitchen um, free and quiet and I had to kind of get used to Ukrainian music I wanted them obviously to feel as much at home and relaxed as possible so most of the time uh, certainly in the first six months they would when they when they're around which was most of the time um, they would either work or have Ukrainian music on and that was something I was you know we, we we talked a lot about music and shared certain music. They, they liked to listen to English and American music as well, so that wasn't a problem. Um, but it can take a bit of adjusting too. Um, but it's been fine, actually. I haven't, I haven't had a problem doing that, whereas other people might choose to manage that differently, I think. It's also been a joy to get to know them. They're delightful. Uh, it's been good fun. Uh, we've learned a lot together, we've had a couple of holidays together which have been fabulous. It's, it's fine if you're not, if you haven't got the, the time or the, the um, commitment to do that, that, that's also okay. I know other hosts who, who don't share as much time or interests and that, that's also fine. So I think the challenges are the challenges you get living with anyone, to be fair. And of course it's potluck. You know, you might get somebody who you wouldn't immediately get on with. You might get somebody who was cautious or hesitant or shy. Um, there was certainly some of that at the beginning. And that all took, I mean, mainly I would say just patience and time as it would with any relationship. But obviously the, their, their hesitation is um, you know multi-led. They don't really know the culture. Uh, they're a little bit apprehensive about all the change. Um, so yeah, that just takes a little bit of patience and sensitivity, I would say. The biggest challenge, almost certainly, and I think other hosts might 
experience the same thing, I would say, is the language. So if Ukrainians arrive without fluent English, which is almost likely to be the case, um, the language, their language can come over as very clipped and uh, their style of speaking can sound quite cold but, uh, and it's easy to misread that as their, you know, who they are as individuals and that isn't the case. If you are considering hosting, um, the first thing I would say is it's a privilege and a joy um, and it's like any other relationship, you know, there's quite a, a, a dose of give and take at times. Um, you have to be as flexible as you can be. And the only other, the, the only other sort of um, suggestion I would make is to talk things out. You know, if there's anything you're uncomfortable about or anything that's like super important to you, like, I don't know, um, you know, where the toilet seat is or uh, whether somebody cleans up after washing up or, you know, wipes up after washing up. These things can feel very trivial when you start, but if you don't discuss them, uh, it can build up and that can cause a bit of irritation. So I think just being uh, open about your preferences and making requests around those little things that can cause just minor irritation but if you don't address them they can build up and then really get in the way of of you being easy and happy together so that's all I would say. The benefits are both ways definitely in that it requires living with anyone requires um, a, a sort of open mind um, you know a bit of willingness to to think of uh, different viewpoints if you're uncomfortable or frustrated about anything and that is a positive. When you first have guests some of the things that you will need to discuss and negotiate may be apparent to you. You know which bathroom they use, um, where they sleep, whether you eat together, how you pay for food, uh, those kinds of things will be fairly obvious that we'll need talking out. Other things won't be. Other things are going to kind of uh, present themselves as you go along. And I think, uh, you know, just being mindful of that, that, that both of those are important really to observe and acknowledge and recognize and talk out together. So just, cr just cultivating that atmosphere where you can talk about things like that together is really important. It may be appropriate, it may not be, but it may be appropriate to give people more support in the early months and then less as you go along. So moving forward, um, I think we'll always be in touch at some level, yeah, we'll remain friends, definitely.